everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. What you see behind me is some beautiful property in Wyoming that I now own. Uh, it has been quite a bit of a challenge to get here. Uh, I did not plan <laughs> as well as I should have, but right down here behind this rock feature is uh, the 40 acres that I now own to include that lovely mobile home that uh, is a rat trap <laughs> to say the least but needless to say uh, this is a gorgeous piece of land and uh, if you guys are interested in how I was able to purchase this I went through a company called Landio if you guys look them up at Landio.com I'll leave their website in a pinned comment uh, to show you what they have available but if you are not satisfied with the properties that they have another good website is going to be lands.com as well so if you guys are interested in looking into raw land that uh, you can build into something of your own um, those would be two good places to start with now uh, depends on where you're wanting to buy Wyoming can be really inexpensive or it can be extremely expensive. Uh, there's a property just about three miles uh, behind the camera here that uh, I looked at about six months ago. Uh, if you guys saw that video, you know which one I'm talking about, the very first property I talked about. And that one was double the price of what I paid for this particular property. So a lot of different things to consider. Now, on that other property, it did have a well um, and it did have a primitive cabin but um, one of the big problems is getting back there. Right now, there is no way to, for me anyway, to get back there uh, with my Tacoma. Uh, so with that being said, my property is uh, pretty much starting here on the western side, runs all the way down the hill past the mobile home and then up right over here to this other rock feature and that's where the northern boundary is so i've got a lot of plans that i'd like to do with this land um, i was hoping that i was going to be able to set up a target today and try to shoot you know a few hundred yards but uh, that's just not going to be feasible uh, i'm way out by the road uh, is where my uh, vehicle is so um, yeah I had to hoof it here because uh, I didn't have a side-by-side uh, -side or a gator or even a snowcat and that's how kind of serious it is right now. So with that being said, this is the new Fit and Fire compound. Whether or not I'm able to get out here as much as I want to will be uh, something very interesting to see. But what do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below. I'm excited to see what the possibilities are for this particular property. I've got a lot of work to do. I've got two vehicles uh, that were abandoned, a mobile home, and a camper that I've got to figure out what to do with. And before you guys say, well, just use the cars for your range, I've already thought of that and I don't want to clean up the mess. <laughs> but uh, I have a couple of different avenues to uh, try and get those hauled off as well as the mobile home and the camper as well. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Uh, but. This is it. I'm actually just beyond happy right now, uh, being able to stand on the highest point of my property in the snow and uh, just do whatever I want. So with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Thank you so much for all the support. If you would, uh, you know, check out some of my other videos, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll catch you next time as always. Freedom through strength, here comes a high five. Catch you guys later, bye.